The return of my coin lady channel brings me much joy. There are two things occurring at the moment, and I want to tell you guys about them both. The news is breaking, and you guys need to hear it all. Someone is attempting to make a 100% flood allegation that new developments have occurred in the SEC case, which is causing a ripple effect. Guys. Some have even predicted that XRP will not participate in the bull run at all. I intend to put an end to this nonsense and shed light on the real happenings of the digital revolution for the benefit of the community. Hey there, I noticed a couple comments asking, hey, could you look into this between the Ripple case and SEC and what's happening in California, specifically? It sounds like there are new developments. I thought that was quite interesting. Some members of this group, the XRP Army, are understandably anxious about what they perceive as recent events. You may have heard of these before. And I want to go right in before we discuss what's to come, specifically, my predictions based on current data on the future of XRP prices in the bull run, the relative merits of Ripple and SEC, and the lack of clarity surrounding XRP futures at the state level. Legal counsel affirms. It all started with you today and a local influencer even posted a video about it. I just will not do it, and I will not even mention his name to make him feel good about it. I have no intention of criticizing anyone, but I will point out that there is some false information floating around. For example, this article claims that a U.S. District Court judge has issued orders on multiple motions, clarifying the continuing lawsuit in which Platten alleges that the cryptocurrency company violated security laws. Settlement discussions between the XRP litigation parties are slated for December 19, the day before the court's pre-trial meeting, and the day after that, jury selection. On January 21, 2025, which of the two parts is true? Here we have the result of Fred's response. Oh, what a wonderful guy. He is, he serves as a community commentator in a way. Familiar with the subject matter. Given the current state of affairs, he is a lawyer. Fred Ree, a lawyer, has brought attention to the fact that XRP state-level classification is still up in the air. He made the valid point that the federally-based Essek vs. Ripple case is unaffected by the California case because it is based on state law. As a result, he said, I may have been dozing off about the civil case in California and need to get up to speed on what's going on. Never forget that whether or not XRP constitutes a security under state law is an ongoing matter of litigation. Therefore, this isn't new, he's stating it right now. All he has to do is keep himself apprised of the latest developments in California. On top of that, there are FUD influencers spreading the word as if this were a recent breakthrough. When compared to matters at the federal level, this is insignificant on a state level. There can be no other way to describe the relationship between the federal government and the states except as an umbrella. Sure, there are state laws that don't always apply federally, but what do you all think? In your opinion, is it more crucial at the national or state level? From a legal standpoint, the current situation is that XRP is not considered a security. Right now, we have cases pending against the SEC as a result of our observation of the Bitwise case. Why? The SEC has been unfairly treating bits because they are attempting to violate the law, which currently maintains that XRP is not a security. We shouldn't be adding to the existing amount of false information and disinformation campaigns. The entire sector is currently opposed to Gary Gensler and the SEC. In a few weeks, we will have a new administration, Trump or Harris, and Harry Gensler's terror reign over the cryptocurrency industry will be over. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse recently stated that this is coming to an end, so we must remain optimistic. We need to be honest and talk about what's really happening in this digital revolution right now. Another piece of false information that people are spreading is that XRP won't see a bull run or move during the upcoming bull run. If that's the case, how come it occurred before now? We can see that XRP had a meteoric rise from 2020 to 2021 spent only a few months going from $0.25 cents to $75. Now, that was before we knew that the general public has to know that XRP is not a security. Seeing my video is an honor. 
Thank you for watching my channel and for subscribing. I will see you later.